Hello, and in today's video I'm going to try to make some um, potassium nitrite because it's kind of hard to get, uh, unfortunately and uh, I need it in my tetrazole synthesis so uh, I saw uh, like Shiva chemist, I think it was make this, it looked kind of easy I mean it wasn't that pure but what did you expect from such a crude synthesis? But I'm gonna try to recreate it. So we just add about, um, what was it, 9 grams of potassium nitrite. It's better to use sodium nitrite, I believe, but I don't care. <laughs> and some sodium hydroxide, like about 2.5 grams, I believe. And now melt this together and slowly add about half a gram of sulfur. That should reduce the nitrate to the nitrite. Whew. That's scary. Jeez, what the hell? It's burning through the steel. Um, okay. That is not supposed to happen. What the hell? Look at that. What? What does it look in there? Um, that's weird. It burned a hole through it. So I searched around the house for a new crucible and I thought I found a perfect crucible. Like it was thick, cast iron, it um, yeah, looked kind of perfect for what I uh, was planning to do. But I heated it up and it immediately melted, like in two seconds it was just a puddle. And apparently what it was just a black painted tin, so yeah. Like look at this fucking... Why? But I just got one of these like metal things for like a dollar. Yeah, that worked much better. Now I'm adding sulfur to hopefully reduce the nitrate to nitrite. After adding all the sulfur to it, I then dissolve it in water and filter it. The sodium sulfate should crystallize out. Of course it decides to be all aggressive, like why not? 
But um, there's actually uh, a precipitate forming. Okay, so quite a bit of precipitate formed, uh, as you can see. Um, so I'm just gonna filter it. Hopefully we have some sodium nitrite of decentable quality. Decentable? Reasonable quality. Decent and reasonable. Decentable. Decentable. Hopefully you have some decentable sodium nitrite. Now I add some dilute hydrochloric acid to the sodium and potassium nitrite mixture. If there's uh, enough potassium or sodium nitrite, it should um, give off a brown gas, uh, nitrogen dioxide. So as you can see, a lot of brown nitrogen dioxide gas evolved from the crude product. Because this reaction was kind of a mini success, I decided to do it again, um, but this time on a slightly larger scale, and see how much uh, nitrite I could obtain. Okay, we're almost done. This is my uh, large batch of the um, crude sodium nit or in this case potassium nitrate. Nitrite, sorry. Nitrate, nitrite. Very confusing, very hard. But um, yeah, I hope I can use this in... Um, what, what was it again? Diazotation or something? I don't even know the term. But uh, for making tetrazoles. Um, I don't know if it if it is really like pure enough for these kind of these kind of purposes, but you know, let me know if uh, this is actually useful for diazotations or whatever, because I have no clue if these kinds of impurities have any effect on that. So, yeah. Look at that nice yellow solution. Well, I um I have here some of the filtrate, and I was wondering how much of the nitrite is left behind so I'm guessing quite a lot but let's just test that yeah yeah definitely some don't breathe that in stay away Ooh, I can smell it looks beautiful to be honest But yeah, definitely some of the nitrite 
gets left behind. Good, less than I expected. Okay, so I'm almost done boiling it. Um, but the last bit of water is kind of hard to get rid of. But I don't know why, but it seems like it's slowly turning more and more yellow. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that can be fucking good. Like it's a, the camera doesn't really pick it up, but it's a, quite a like lemony yellow, quite vibrant. It's a bit weird. I hope it like doesn't explode or something. I am very stupid. Okay. So I just took it off the the hot plate because it wasn't like boiling off any water. I just started melting. So I probably was just melting the salt, which I mean it's amazing that my glass wouldn't break. But anyway, it indeed immediately solidified. As you can see, and like the camera doesn't fog up a whole lot, so there isn't any water in there. So yeah. Uh, this is probably sort of reasonably concentrated nitrite. It's some, probably a mixture of potassium and sodium nitrite. I don't think it is good enough for diazotations or whatever. But I hope it is. It will be kind of cool. Okay, so now we have this, which is hopefully very pure uh, nitrite. Hopefully. I mean, it looks pure. It needs to dry a little bit more, but 